dawn on the edges of the river Ganges, as they call it here, the mighty Mother Ganga. Saluting the sun, Babu Maharaj, a Hindu priest, begins a morning ritual. For Hindus, this is holy water. They believe it purifies both body and soul. He, like most here, refuses to believe the sacred waterway is under threat. This Ganga is not dirty. Ganga is clean. From a young age, Indians travel to the city of Varanasi to bathe in the river. But just upstream, we find evidence of the damage that's being done. As India's economy grows, so too does its waste. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. It's pretty obvious that this water is dirty, but the level of pollution inside the Ganges is almost unbelievable. Every day, 275 million litres of raw sewage is getting in here. On top of that, there's millions of litres of toxic waste. But that's not the only thing that's threatening this way of life. The smoke in the distance is a cremation ceremony. Floating along the river, we come across a corpse. Each year, an estimated 33,000 half-burned human bodies are pushed in here. The belief that this leads straight to heaven. Downstream, the fishermen are casting nets. 400 million people live in the Ganges Basin, many surviving off what it provides. 15 years ago, when we went fishing, we used to catch plenty. But it's not like that anymore. This morning, a now familiar sight, the nets are all but empty. But all the concerns about pollution may in fact be academic. By 2030, the Himalayan glaciers are expected to disappear entirely. That would effectively turn off the tap at the mouth of the Ganges. Even though the evidence is now overwhelming, scientists here face an uphill battle convincing the faithful that the river is in trouble. The river is fighting for survival. Not only the river is fighting for survival, but you'll find that 37 million people are fighting for their survival because they are totally dependent on the survival of River Ganga. So it's life or death, yes. the river, but also the people. Yes, yes, yes. In the evening, as darkness shrouds the water's edge, the ceremonies continue. For thousands of years, they've come here to ask the gods for strength and good health. Now it's the river itself which may need their prayers. Hamish MacDonald, Al Jazeera, on the River Ganges.